So let me get this straight. You're in Chicago two days before the huge winter chill. You go outside at 2 a.m. in the morning to get a sandwich at Subway's. While you're at Subway's, two white men with MAGA hats walk in. They pour bleach on you. They call you not only racial epithets, but they also refer to you as a faggot. You know they're white, but yet they're wearing masks. They pour the bleach on you. They beat you up. And then they put a noose around your neck and say, die, faggot, die, faggot, nigga. Then they leave you there. Supposedly, you're bruised. Your ribs hurt. But when we see the pictures, it doesn't look like you've been beat up. But then, also, you won't turn over the the records from your phone to the police. I got a problem with this whole just Jesse Smollett story. I got a problem with it. And I'm going to tell you my theory. Because I've been analyzing it. So I'm going to talk about it. Let's get to it. Hey guys, it's your girl, Miss Ellen Call. I'm coming to you straight out of NYC on this beautiful Monday afternoon. I've really been following this Jesse Spallett story. And even though I've been busy doing a lot of other stuff, I'm going to be honest, I believe he's lying. But first, I want to say something. I don't like for people to lie about something that they're not comfortable with telling the truth about, but make the lie so explosive that it gets media attention. People get involved. People criticize different groups. And then it becomes a hoax. We find out it's a hoax. And then everybody is left with their mouth dropped. And this is what I believe the Jesse Smollett situation is. is it, it is what it is. And I believe it's going to come out that he lied. This is why I believe he lied. Number one is 2 a.m. in the morning. It's very cold in Chicago as opposed to where I'm at in NYC. Chicago winter is way more harsher than NYC winter. Now, NYC winter, you could go outside 2 a.m. in the morning, get a sandwich, even though most of us aren't going to do that by ourselves unless we're either looking for a date, going out on a date, or we're with a group of friends. Okay, let's just keep it real. We are the city that never sleeps. But a lot of times we do go to sleep. If we want to get a sandwich at 2 a.m. in the morning, the winter, we're going to do Uber Eats or we'll, no, we'll do Uber Eats. We're not going to do Grub Up. Also, keep in mind that Chicago winter, when it's 2 a.m. in the morning, it's extremely cold. A lot of times it's like below zero degrees. And you're not going to walk around looking to get food where you can do Uber Eats. Second of all, Third, if somebody is bundled and their face is covered up, how do you know that they're white? Okay. And then two, this is the center of Chicago. This is the city. They claim, he claimed they called it MAGA country. However, Chicago is extremely liberal. Okay. It's very liberal. Now, this is my issue with Jesse. Why couldn't you tell the goddamn truth? Because this is what I believe. This is my opinion. Hold on. I believe Jesse Smollett went on a date or, okay, I'll give you first scenario. I believe Jesse Smollett went on a date. I believe the date was consensual, but something went wrong with the date in terms of sex. What it could have been was the guy could have been a prostitute and wanted money from Jesse. And Jesse was probably like, I'm not going to give you money. Just because I'm on Empire doesn't mean that I'm going to, I'm loaded, let alone give you cash. And it could have gotten to a tussle. And Jesse got the scratch on his face. Or what it could have been is he could have got the date online. It could have been a prostitution. He could have been a male prostitute. 
And maybe Jesse didn't pay him for all the stuff that he did. Because he did have a necklace around his neck that resembled a noose. But it could have been something for kinky sex. Maybe Jesse's into that. I'm giving all, I'm saying everything. And if people don't like it, I don't care. Also, that area does have gay bathhouses. Okay? And if you know the story about the gay bathhouses in Chicago, that's a whole nother story for a time and day to talk about. But Chicago is known for having gay bathhouses. Okay? He could have picked up somebody from there. But I believe it was a sexual encounter that went wrong. Now, the question is, why would he incorporate that into the whole MAGA situation, the racism of, 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 of Trump supporters? I'll tell you why. Because before this incident happened, a couple of days prior, Jesse Smollett gave a tweet. And Jesse Smollett basically spoke about how Trump made this country more hateful and he can't stand him and he calls him an mf up he calls him names and you know MAGA supporters they got upset they got caught in their feelings whatever what i believe jesse is doing is jesse being that we're up with up to the 2020 re-election term i believe that the liberal media is paying jesse smollett to help kamala harris win by trying to ruin Trump's chances of being reelected. So if you say that MAGA supporters assaulted you both racially and sexually to the point where they harass you, the ones where they, they beat you up, it gives people the chance to vote for Kamala Harris and destroy Trump's chances of being reelected. Also, Lee Daniels, I believe there's something that he's connected to with this too because he kept saying we're better than that, we're better than this. He too doesn't like Trump. So a lot of this is dealing with Trump. I believe it's some pay. I believe Jesse got paid for it to lie about it. I believe that he was approached to say it. I believe either Lee Daniels could say no. Don't go to the cops about this. You this is your chance to use this as a whole thing to destroy Trump or maybe the whole thing with the bruise could have been all a setup from the get go to make him bruise to make it seem like he to make it seem like he got beat up make it seem like the MAGA supporters did it so that it could ruin Trump's chances so, so for me this is a political ploy and it's going to backfire on him now he's even claiming that he's a new Tupac that he's the, 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 the gay Tupac something like that and I'm like no and you know, a lot of people who watch Empire hasn't been really feeling it since the first season. I did like the first and the third season, but for me, the show jumped the shark a long time ago. I just love it for Taraji. I mean, only because of Taraji. She made it what it was. But I believe this is going to ruin his career. It's unfortunate because one thing that people don't like, they don't like to be played and they don't like hoax. I don't like hoax. And as I'm concerned, I believe he's canceled. I, I think he's canceled. You don't do stuff like that. Just tell the truth. Just say it was a bad sexual encounter going wrong. Unless you yourself was a culprit if that's happened. But more than likely, this is a drum up for MAGA 2020 to be destroyed. We know the liberals, they want the, 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 president's, the, the presidency back. But Jesse, you made it so that People that wasn't even thinking about voting, they gonna vote and they gonna vote for Trump a lot of times to just get back at your dumb ass for what you did. And this is all a bad sexual encounter written on it, in my opinion. But then again, it could have been Lee Daniels orchestrating the whole thing so that it could make the MAGA supporters look bad. With that being said, Sugar Miss Sam Little Call, I'm signing off. Stay tuned. I'll be back again this evening and I'll talk to you later. Take care.